But even looking at the thing just from the national point of view, because sometimes I try to caution our MPs and the others to say that there is something I call national interest. That for every problem or issue that arises, we must look at it from the national point of view. What is in the interest of the nation? The parliament is coming to an end. The time they started their so-called dispute was based on two months or so for parliament to come to an end. Mm -hmm. Before the, that parliament comes to an end, there are certain consequential orders, decisions, and the rest that they must take. And if they do not take, it has serious consequences for governance. Like the budget. You know, from January, there will be no money to pay anybody. All public servants cannot be paid if parliament does not approve a budget to that effect. Now, a new government that is elected will not have any money because there is no vote for governance. Mm. These are issues I thought that my young friends in parliament would have been addressing my mind to. So, excuse me to use the words, my young friends, mm -hmm. for the simple reason that I'm much, much older than all of them. Okay. And so, at least I have seen problems and difficulties arise in this country from the time of Nkrumah up to the present day. I have witnessed it. I was old enough to witness it all. And so I know the danger of what they are doing now to themselves. It is not a question of trying to say you are trying to dribble the government because I heard the chairman of the NDC, who also, for some strange reason, happened to be a member of the parliamentary, uh, what do you call it? <laughs> Services board. <laughs> Services board. The Services board, board, which of course he said, I would have said that that, is, that was not the proper thing to do. But he is. And he rather should have been the person who should be cautioning the members of parliament to try and do what I would have thought the most decent thing to do, to look at the national interest, to realize that any chaos you create at this time affect governance, seriously affect governance. It is not the question of Akufuadu, no. It's a question of everyone, including the new government that may be elected in January will be faced with serious problem because they will have no money, no vote. And however, we need to understand that one, if a president is sworn in mm -hmm. on the 7th of uh, January, mm -hmm. he still has no cabinet approved. He still has no budget to work with unless a budget it's a proof which, of course, is supposed to last for the first quarter. Yeah. Those are serious matters which I thought that we as a nation and a people should be addressing our mind to. But we are bickering about uh, 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 they should have gone to the High Court. He didn't go to the High Court. The Supreme Court has no jurisdiction. Why does the Supreme Court not have jurisdiction? The Supreme Court is the final arbiter on the interpretation of the Constitution. How do you say that they have no jurisdiction?